What's going on, fishy friends? All right, so I recently picked up another CO2 regulator so I could run a second CO2 tank on some of these, uh, on some of my planted tanks. And unfortunately, I come to find after I hook this thing up, well, I'm not going to bother hooking it up again now, but the working pressure gauge there, which I've half disassembled, uh, did not seem to be working correctly. I'm hoping that is the only problem that I really have with this regulator, and hopefully the whole regulator isn't shot. Uh, purchased it used from a member on the planettank.net forums. So far, it seems like a pretty stand-up guy. Um, he's offering to help me fix the issue. In the interim, I've offered to try to repair this myself if he can cover the cost of the parts. So, <clears throat> I picked up a new gauge off eBay, and uh, let's see if I can go ahead and try to install this thing and see if it works. What happened before, uh, when you hooked it up, the tank pressure gauge would work and show you that the tank has pressure up in the 850 range, and you'd work out the, uh, the working pressure by, by tightening the regulator knob here, and this gauge should then show you the working pressure that's going into the bubble counter and everything, and this gauge just didn't move. I, I maxed this thing out and ended up setting off the relief valve and just dumping half a tank. So obviously it wasn't working. Uh, I played with it a little more, and playing with the needle valve, I, I could actually get CO2 flowing through the bubble counter. So obviously this gauge is just not registering anything, but I think the regulator itself is working. So I ended up getting this new gauge to replace the bar broken one for about $12. So it seemed like a worthwhile investment to give it a try and see if we can't make this thing work again. So let me grab some tools and see what I can make happen. There's no good way to hold this thing. Okay, so we got the gauge off, now let's see if we can find the broken problem here. There's supposed to be almost like a little foil tube, I forget what it was called, I'll have to look up the exact name of it again. I don't even see the tube on here. Hmm. Well, let's try putting the new gauge on and see what happens. <clears throat> so, new gauge, old gauge. Make sure we use some Teflon tape on the threads. And when you're working with Teflon tape, there's a right way and a wrong way to put it on. What you want to do is make sure it goes the same way that 
you're going to be what's the right way to say this you don't want the tape to come unraveled when you tighten the fittings together so if you put if you start the tape one way it's going to go the same way as the threads whereas the other way you might end up unraveling it i always have to stop and think about this for a second i want it to end going this way and you got to be careful working with teflon tape on anything co2 related there's a lot of small orifices that can easily get clogged if a piece of the Teflon tape were to come loose. I already noticed down inside of the threads there you can see all the old Teflon. I gotta make sure I get all that out of the way and none of that goes inside the regulator body. My little helper needs to look also. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some tweezers I don't know if you'll be able to see. There's a tiny bit left inside the threads there. So I'm going to grab some tweezers and see if I can't yank that out. Alright, so I got most of that Teflon out of the way, out of the old threads there. And we'll go ahead and start threading in the new gauge. Alright, that's getting snug. Grab the wrench. Tighten it down. There's probably a particular torque rating I'm supposed to follow on this, but for now, I am just going to make the gauge face essentially square to the regulator body so that way it's visible. Let me go ahead and hook this thing up and see if we can't make it work. all the way. Let's go ahead and see what we can make happen. Get that out of the way, just so we can see what we're doing. Well, or not. It'll just have to stay in the way. So, we'll open up the tank, and you can see the tank pressure is correct at about 800. It's actually a little low. It should be up to about 850, I would have thought, but that's fine. Yep. Then we'll start working on the regulator nut. Regulator adjustment screw. I don't know exactly what it's called. Ah, uh, we already have success. I can already see this gauge moving the way it should. And is actually now registering the working pressure. So I think I was correct in my assumption that the old gauge was just faulty, um, which is very lucky for me because now I believe this is a fully functioning regulator. I'll do a couple of more leak tests. I'll make sure this thing holds pressure overnight and things like that. And like I said before, thankfully I got a stand-up seller who was willing to stand behind his product. When I bought this used from this guy, he had commented to me that he bought it used from somebody else. He was going back and forth about how what a reputable reputable person it was that he purchased it from. Um, a local forum of his that he was doing for aquarium clubs or something. It was all well and great. The guy I bought it from, though, he had advised me that he had never actually used the regulator, but it was sold to him as perfectly working. Um... I had said to him after I bought it that it looked like maybe it had been damaged in shipping or something like that. This is the, the old gauge again. I don't know if you could see how up at the top it looks like, I thought that was a paper gauge face that had been wet and, uh, and stopped working. But it turns out that it is metal and it is bent in half as if somebody tried to peel it back and figure out why it was broken. So once I told him about that, you know, it seemed like he initially doubted me and I don't blame him. Did a few more tests and told him he did offer a refund, but I told him, look, I think the regulator works and I think it's just as high, uh, the, the low pressure, the working pressure gauge, that's no good. Uh, I had asked if he would contemplate potentially splitting the price of the new gauge with me and at first I thought his response was a no, but he was nicely saying there's no way that he's only going to pay half and that he was going to gladly pay for the whole price of this thing. So, uh... I'm going to let him know what's going on with this, keep doing some more testing, and hopefully that'll be that. Alright guys.
That's it for now. I'll keep checking in later. Don't forget to follow Rich's Fishes on Instagram. Comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Later. Bye.